It's a perfect evening on May 28th, 2024, and we're at Long Island Railroad's Jamaica Station watching the evening rush. We start the evening with the diesel haul train featuring a pair of DE30 ACs on each end. These locomotives built by EMD in 1998 were some of our main targets as they're slated for replacement by Siemens chargers in the next few years. Next up, we would catch a handful of M7A sets passing by the Jamaica Tower on the east end of the platforms. Here we get a sense for how intense this station and junction is. This is truly the heart of the LIRR. Next up would be a pair of departures powered by DE30 ACs.
our next train would have our first DM30 AC of the afternoon. The DM30 ACs were built in 1999 and were identical to the DE30 ACs. The main difference is that the DM30 ACs were dual mode and could run on diesel or electricity. We get a shot of the next outbound passing by Jamaica Tower. This train is powered by another DE30 AC and is only three cars long. Now on the west end of the platforms, we would catch an LIRR M3A set departing. The M3 series was originally constructed in 1984 and is some of the oldest rolling stock on the LIRR. Arriving on the west end of the station was another diesel haul train, this time with a pair of dual modes. Back on the east end, we would get a shot of an outbound M7A set and an inbound diesel set arriving. Here, both trains traverse the complex junction and pass Jamaica Tower.
our final catch of the day would be the simultaneous departure and arrival of two diesel hauled trains. First, the outbound arrives with a DE30 AC on the point. After flipping platforms, we catch the inbound with its own pair of DE30 ACs. As they arrive, the outbound would depart. Thanks for watching. If you like this Long Island Railroad commuter train action, do not forget to subscribe for future rail fanning videos.